What's good? How y'all doing this afternoon? Uh, this is the Dunn. Welcome back to the Dunn's Favor, round two. Now I'm here to talk about um, Raheem Morris is now the interim head coach for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, so he's going to pretty much sail the ship to the end of the season until we find a permanent head coach. I'm interested on this because, you know, he was he was the head coach of the Buccaneers from 2009-2011, uh, was had a brief stint with the uh, Redskins as that defensive coordinator from 2012 to 14, and then we brought him in in uh, 2015 and been with the team since. But remember, in 2016 to 2018, he was the wide receivers coach. But we know, true football fans know, and people that create content understand that Morris is a defensive back coach by trade. Uh, and I always question myself, why do they put him at uh, receiver coach? I didn't ever understand that, but whatever. Um, guys, if you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button. Share this content out with other Atlanta Sports Fanatics. And hit us up in the comment section. As always, come holler at your hometown sports podcast. All right. Now, we know now uh, Dimitrov is also gone as well with Dan Quinn. I already did a brief video on Dan Quinn explaining my thoughts on that. Go check that out. But uh, Dimitrov has also been relieved of his duties. Thank you. I've been saying this. Since we fired Mike Smith, I will talk more about that on my live today at one o'clock. If you have time, come join us live. If not, watch it at a later time. But he's gone. Rich McKay now is running things day to day, pretty much fall, filling in in that GM role. But he chose Raheem Morris as the interim head coach for a reason. The thing is, they had been having ties since back way back to 2002. When they uh, when they won that Super Bowl when John Gruden was the head coach out there in Tampa Bay, so he knows he knows Raheem Morris very well. But is that gonna be enough for him to stay on the team? I don't think so. All right, it just for now, you know, till we can get through the season alive. All right, um, another news broke out that um, Rich McKay has brought in uh, Rustin Webster to pretty much handle the day to day operations of the team. Him and Web McKay and Webster goes back all the way to 1988. 1988 in Tampa Bay. All right, this man Webster is also responsible for building that defense when they brought in Dungy, drafting guys like John Lynch, Warren Sapp, Derrick Brooks, uh, Boogie McFarland, uh, uh, Rondé Barber. Those guys. He was responsible for all of it. All of it. All right. So, um, my thoughts on that. That's a great move. I don't know if he's going to stay here longer than that. I don't think he's going to end up making him the GM. Uh, we need someone. We need someone else. But I'll talk about that another time as well. But Raheem Morris, get back to Raheem Morris, interim head coach. I'm I'm very interested to see what this what this team is going to look like under the helm of Raheem Morris. How the defense is going to play? Because if the, if this defense play a slight better. On the Morris and Dan Quinn, I, I must say I told you. I told you because I really feel like Dan Quinn was shoving his scheme down Raheem Morris and Jeff Ulrich's throats these past couple of years. Now, I like to be proven wrong. I do. So, if, if they come out and we play the same scheme, defense ain't getting any better or anything like that, then, hey, I was wrong. But if they come out and they play better, hey, I'm going to say I told you so. And I'm going to make a whole video on it as well um, uh, in the end of uh, this week's game. But, hey, guys, I know it's a low point. But, look, we've been in low points uh, worse than this. Look at the Bobby Petrinos and the Mike Vicks and, the, um, you know, after 1998 uh, Super Bowl run um, when we had June Jones. June Jones is our head coach. Like, we've been through worse times than this. So, guys, as a Falcons fan, keep your head up. Look, good times are soon to come. I will be the official, the, un the official, unofficial voice for coach scouting for the Atlanta Falcons. So, for all your news, all your thoughts on who can be, 
who should we bring in, the, those questions y'all like to have, I'm the guy. I will do my research. If you want me to scout any coach, any coach, it can be college or pro, that you think they should come in to be Atlanta Falcons uh, head coach, the next head coach for the Atlanta Falcons, hit me up. I will, I will do my due diligence. I will study this person. I will bring people on the show live who know this coach in person, um, former players. I do it. All you got to do is just hit me up and just ask. I do it. All right? Um, just let me know, you guys. And hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about Raheem Morris being the interim head coach and us bringing in Rustin uh, Webster as our um, day-to-day operator for uh, the front office. So y'all hit me up and let me know what y'all think. Um, got a live show at 1 o'clock with Scott Carrots. Join me for that, please. Um, hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. Share this content out with other line of sports fanatics. Hit us up in the comment section. As always, come holler at your hometown sports podcast. This is the Dunn with the Dunn's favor. Y'all have a great afternoon. Don't forget to wear your mask.